Region coordinating office for United Union. We're here today to register our opposition to the government's lack of intervention against the backdrop of uh, the pressures that working class people are facing today. There's a range of difficulties coming out of the pandemic, uh, the prospects of a recession looming, uh, the energy crisis, the challenges that working class people are facing today. Uh, the government needs to intervene in a far more decisive, far better way. We need to address the minimum wage, we need to address the living wage. Uh, and, and, and illustrate to people that they're on the side of society's needs as opposed to corporate greed. Uh, there's opportunities around uh, energy costs, energy profits, there's all a range of opportunities that they can do to show them that they're on the side of working class people. Uh, we are today, certainly the United Union are today, out and demonstrating uh, in solidarity with working people. I'm here outside of our office today, prepared to head to Parnell Square in Dublin to join other unions and other groups in marching against the cost of living crisis. In a week when we hear that TDs will get a large pay increase, we also hear that low paid members on the minimum wage will receive an 80 cent increase. It's an absolute disgrace. This government should be ashamed of themselves. TDs in Dáil Éireann should all be ashamed of themselves. The opposition should be ashamed of themselves. They're not doing enough to address this crisis. And we're heading into it. We're here today to say no, no more. Hi there, my name is Richard Howard. I'm the Secretary for the Construction Branch in Unite. I'm very delighted to be here supporting the cost of living protest. Uh, I think that we all have a vested interest in, in supporting this as it all affects all of us. Uh, our members, one and all, support this protest. Thank you. My name is Michelle Byrne and I'm a member of the Unite Youth Committee um, and I'm marching for the cost of living protest because young people um, are disproportionately affected when it comes to precarious work, uh, high cost of housing and we're, we're being affected by this in a big way and we're seeing a lot of my friends actually emigrate now because of the cost and we really need the government to do something about this. We Hi, my name is Mehmet Uluda and I'm the national chair of Unite the Union BAEM, Black Asian Ethnic Minority Committee in, in the island region. I'm here today with my Unite comrades uh, at the cost of living uh, national protest because I believe the rising cost of living has started hurting people, workers. In fact, it has started hurting young people, uh, migrants and women even worse. Today, we are here because we as a union need to be part of a mobilization that actually sends a message to the government, sends a message to the companies, sends a message to the whole world that the rising cost of living is not a price that the workers should be paying only.